17. Predict the sign of the entropy change for the following processes and give a reason for your prediction. Okay, so in this case, we have a balanced equation. So we have PB2 plus aqueous plus S2 minus aqueous comes together to form PBS solid. Now, how are we going to find out what that entropy change is? Well, just know that the entropy is talking about an S value, right? So we're looking for a delta. Well, I just gave you the answer, right? Ch change represents that delta sign. So in this case, we're really searching for what that delta S is going to be. Is the entropy going to be a positive, negative, or a zero number? Now, in this case, when it's due to balanced equations, it's easiest to just look at the states. Now, in this case, we have two aqueous uh, substances that we're starting off with, and then we're going to a solid. So in this case, I mean, if you want to just group these two together, we are basically going to two AQs. And notice how I don't even care what these are, right? I don't care about what the molecules are or the ions or the compounds. I just care about the states. We're starting off with two aqueous values and we're going to a solid. Now, just know that a solid is always the least entropic substance because if we draw it out as far as circles, those solids are tightly packed together, right? That's why solids basically like, you know, they don't move because the molecules are so tightly packed. There's no randomness that's happening with these molecules. Keep in mind that entropy is talking about the randomness or the chaos or the disorder in the molecules. Gas, on the other hand, the molecules are free to roam around all over the place, so more random, more chaos in the system. Now, where does aqueous come into play? Well, aq just means that it's like being dissolved in water, right? Aqueous just means that it's being dissolved in water, and the water is a liquid solvent. So in this case, I like to just put the aqueous in the liquid category. And in this case, you're starting off with the liquid realm, aqueous, and you're going to something that is very structured. It's a solid. So since you're going from technically a liquid to a solid, my delta S value, my entropy change, would have to be a negative value. Another way to say this is just your delta S would just have to be less than zero. But either answers are the same. You're either going to be a negative value, you're losing entropy, negative, or you're just, you know, less than zero. Because anything less than zero is negative. And that's the answer. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Love teaching you guys and helping you guys out. Talk to you soon. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thanks so much for that. Bye-bye.